Here we are. We've um, got the deck all cleaned up and masked up. We've masked right around. The edges have all been cleaned. We've done that with a moldy tool with a carbide tip blade on it and, and uh, smoothed it down, beveled it down so it's um, nice and smooth going in. And now we're starting the tread grip. So I've done a little bit of tread grip up the front there, uh, front of the cockpit and I'll work my way back to the back of the cockpit. First coat, we're just going to put it on with a brush and I'll be very liberal with it. This, this paint's designed to go on fairly thick. If you try and spread it too much, you'll find you'll pull the rubber out. It's got synthetic rubber in it. Brilliant non-slip paint uh, on uh, wet surfaces. Uh, but if you try and spread it too thin, it bunches up the rubber and it looks ugly. So nice thick coats on with this and away you go. We're going to go for three coats on this, but today I'll get a coat on, let it dry overnight, and then two more coats will go on tomorrow. There we go, first coat of tread grip applied. Uh, looks a million dollars already. Uh, we'll put a total of three coats on um, before we finish. So you could leave it at least three hours between coats. It's about four in the afternoon now, so we're going to leave this until tomorrow morning and then another two coats will go on tomorrow. So if a coat goes on tomorrow morning, uh, before about 10, we'll put the next coat on by about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and this old girl will look like a million dollars. And then all we need to do is cut around the edge at the bottom of the masking tape before we pull it off. If we just pull the masking tape off without uh, putting a mark along the edge of it, it'll send the edge of the tread grip all furry, and we don't want that. Anyway, you'll have to sit back and wait now and see what it looks like once we get it all finished and the masking tape off it. Okay, Steve's put another coat of uh, tread grip down, a U-Butte non-slip paint, and uh, it's looking smart already. That's two coats. So he's, he's brushed it on with a uh, foam brush, just roughly put it on, and it, it's made it easier to get up around the, whoops, up around the sides there when he's done it, it goes into the corner quite well and then he smoothed it out with a foam roller uh, and uh, it, what it does, it takes out the brush marks and tends to stipple it better so that it give, gives it a more lumpy surface here we are, we now got three coats of uh, tread grip on our deck and I've started pulling the tape off fairly easy to pull off if it's not going furry, just pull up like so, pull it away from it and it'll uh, pull a clean, nice clean edge. Uh, if you pull down or just pull straight out, it'll tend to send it furry. So just pull up like so. Now notice how there's been two or three different levels of um, masking tape put on in place. There's a reason being so we could uh, keep it flat. So just pull him up and if it rips off like that just start again but um, see how we've got, now got a nice clean edge and uh, well, it looks a million dollars on what it looked before and that's our deck completed next thing we're going to do we're going to put some bungs back or some um, portholes back in it, manholes and away we go right here, clean our brush off just clean the excess off back into the can and then we give him a wash out with uh, water Water's your thinners, water's your solvent. The only paints to use these days. 20 years ago the technology used to be crap. But I tell you what, these water-based paints we, we sell and use, they're absolutely brilliant. And the tread grip is a non-slip. Synthetic rubber, and um, boy, it can be absolutely saturated and you still lock on. Not like all the stuff with grit in it, silicates, where as soon as it gets wet, especially free water, it becomes slippery. You know, it's hopeless. There we are, I've sat the brush in some water for a few minutes. Just let it melt the cloth of it out. And um, from there, we'll give her a bit more of a wash here. So, I like to use hot water when I clean. I find it works better. Look at that, that brush is pretty well clean. We'll give it a little bit of a massage. Just massage it under the water. It'll get the last bit out. 
see that? There's bugger all left in there. And I, I normally just hit them with a the brush upside down like that. Give her a few shake outs. And um, the old brush is ready to go again. Can't do that with your solvent based stuff. There we go, our floor job's finished. Tapes off around the edge, look how smart it looks. You know, compared when when you first saw it a couple of weeks ago. And uh, looking really good. So these hatches here, they go down onto it and I'll screw in. I'm not going to scream in until it's dry, but they'll screw on there. Look how neat it'll look. And they, they go over the edge, so you haven't got a problem with water getting trapped in underneath them. That's why I've selected those hatches. Job complete. So cockpit floor, you can have a ball in there now and you won't break that.